Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, we're going to talk about how to fix bedwetting. So if your child has a problem with this, what I'm going to show you is the fastest way to correct it, okay? Number one, uh, you have to realize that the root cause of bedwetting is the exact same cause as adults getting up through the night peeing, and that has to do with higher levels of insulin. Insulin regulates blood sugars, and I'm not even talking being, becoming a diabetic. You could be a pre-diabetic for 10 years before you have any symptoms. But one of the symptoms of insulin resistance is excessive urination at night. Because whatever, what happens is wherever the sugar goes, the, the liquid goes, the water goes. And because insulin regulates sugar, it's pushing it out through the urine and it actually happens more at night. Now, let's take a look at the pancreas. Pancreas makes insulin. The insulin is there to regulate sugars. What happens over time, if there's, if there's too much insulin coming in here, the uh, cells start to resist it, okay? They block it. So what happens, the signals don't come back to the pancreas as a communication. It's like talking to the child and he's not listening to you. You're not getting return communication. So you increase the volume, right? Well, that's what your pancreas does too. It increases the volume of that communication because hormones are communication. And so then we actually get more and more and more insulin being pumped out because we're not getting that return communication because we have resistance to insulin in the receptor. So cases with insulin resistance have five to seven times more insulin than normal uh, people. So one test that you could do, not necessarily blood sugars, that may be a good test to do, but if that shows up normal, check a fasting insulin test if you really want to figure this out. Or you can just go by the symptoms, which is uh, tiredness, irritability, can't go a long time without eating. When the, per when the child eats, feels much better and calms down. These are all symptoms of insulin resistance. I mean, I, I had this when I was a kid and no one knew what it was. Of course, I lived on sugar. And that's one thing you're gonna have to get out of the refrigerator and out of the house is get rid of the sugar, unfortunately, because that's what's causing this problem. Um, the key is doing three meals a day, no more snacks. So what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to make sure those meals have enough nutrition in them and also enough healthy fat. That will allow the child to go longer. I put some links down below for these healthy fat treats that you can make for the child. And they're called keto bombs. So you make them, they're like little cookies, they taste really good, and you can give those to the child at the meal, not in between the meal. And that way, he or she is satisfied for the whole between the meals, okay? So then we got healthy fat, no snacking, lots of greens. You can't fix this insulin problems without vegetables because vegetables contain the potassium that we need to heal insulin resistance. And that's one of the supplements that you can find is some supplement with potassium if you're having a hard time. But we really want to go with the vegetables. Some kids will not consume vegetables. So what I like to do is do a shake. Maybe we put spinach or kale. I like kale. And I will, for kids, I'll put a banana in there. I'll do uh, berries and I'll blend it up as a shake. So here they have this salad in a drink. So that's one way to hide the vegetables and have them consume that. And it's pretty good if you can get them to do that. Now, and also some protein, three to six ounces of protein with the meal. So we have a combination of vegetable, protein, and fat. We're not doing the starch. We're not doing the potatoes. We're not doing corn, we're not doing grains, we're not doing breads or pastas or cereals, cereal, cereal biscuits, waffles, we're not doing that anymore um, because this is what the problem is. We want to correct it. A good supplement is to find something with chromium and B vitamins. Nutritional yeast is a good source and some supplement to support healthy insulin levels. Why? Because with kids, uh, sometimes that's an, that'll actually speed up the process, okay? So I just wanted to cover what to do if your child has bedwetting and go ahead and apply this and put your comments below. I want to hear the success. Thanks for watching.